Oh, yes, yes, yes. This has gone way too far. Joe Biden is basically a vegetable. Everyone knows it. I know it. You know it. Everyone knows it. But now they've gotten to the point where they are back checking the fact that he is losing a step or two or three or 10. So look at this just happened. As Kyle Becker says, LOL, this fact checking thing has really gone too far. There's a top video, which is totally unedited. And then the bottom video, you can see camera switching. So you can see what they're trying to let you see versus what they are hiding from you. That's as easy and clear as I can make it. So unedited top and you can see, and then the bottom is the production that they created. So check this shit out. I counted 10 Mississippis while his old wrinkly ass was staring into the, the nether sphere. Just frozen. And they're like, oh, cut the camera, move somewhere else, pan the audience. And then Barack goes and rescues him and drags his ass off the, the stage. And then they like cut back for a second. And then they see that he's like doing his like geriatric robo shuffle. And they're like, oh shit, we got to go again. So then they pan the audience again. Then they go back to the robo shuffle and then they throw the damn banner over his legs. So you don't have to see that. Listen, they're trying to paint a picture and because we own the internet, they are failing. And this is what I'm talking about right here. The AP fact checked this. They wrote claim. Biden froze on stage during his fundraiser in Los Angeles and Saturday night and had to be led away by Obama. Fact. I watched him. I counted 10 Mississippis. They were fast Mississippis, but it's 10 Mississippis. And then it says facts. Biden paused amid cheers and applause as he exited the stage with his predecessor following an interview moderated by late night host Kimmel. A source who helped organize and attend the fundraiser told the AP that there was nothing noteworthy about this moment and that Obama wanted to be chummy by walking off stage with Biden. Louis K., a spokesperson for Kimmel, called the claim spreading online nonsense. Attendees in the front were shouting at him and President Biden was trying to hear them. He wrote in an email to the AP, it's as simple as that. Well, Elon Musk says... The AP is a far left propaganda machine. Everyone freaking knows that is not the situation. And look, here's some extra. You can't deny when we have this much, we have this many examples. Not going to lie, that one was a little fucked up, but you get what I'm saying, that they're able to meme what reality is and make fun of what, what the left is doing, what the government is doing, what Biden is doing. But you have these, and they're just memes of reality, and they're like, these are not real. And I'll, we'll get into that again, because I got a, a link of Cla uh, Kareem Jean-Pierre trying to show out in protection of Biden. But first, we'll get through a couple more examples. So here.
look, that one's not horribly damning, but he's just staring directly off into one spot, not moving while everyone else has their heads bobbing. I mean, it seems like the lights aren't turned on. That's what it looks like. Here's another one. I guess I should clear my mind here a little bit and not say what I'm really thinking, but let me be clear. Does anyone think that he's like getting manipulated? Does anyone feel like those clips are edited in a way that magics them into something that they're not? Cause I don't know. I feel like adding a little music, adding like the, the silliness of the uh, nursing home vibes, like that's rude. You could, you could say it's distasteful even, but it's not misinformation to make a joke of something that's very real. Supporting our rights says it's just your imagination. We're not really seeing anything with your own eyes. Yeah, that's exactly it. Pop says, poor guy is sundowning. Yep. Jay Wheatley, that looks like my father-in-law that suffered from Alzheimer's. Yeah, I've, I've seen people with that. Gen X, perfect time for Russia or China or anyone to attack us. Ugh, that's scary. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It is elder abuse. That is actually completely factual. As the thumbnail implied, sheep fakes. We got the White House. And to be clear, this is partially true. And then partially like a funny meme of what they said. But listen, so you can see what I'm talking about. Their angle is these are not real what you're seeing. And it's just a way to hurt the Democrats as you know the mean evil disinformation agents of the trump campaign so watch this shit. and i think you all have called this the cheap fakes video and that's exactly what they are they are cheap fakes video uh, they are done in bad faith uh and uh and some of your news organization uh have uh, have been very clear have stressed that these right wing uh the white wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation disinformation take for instance this video where the president is clearly trying to pick up a quarter that he found uh, <laughs> multiple quarters. Uh, he probably found multiple quarters and he wanted to pick them all up, but Republicans just keep lying. I mean, the president just loves picking up quarters from the ground, you know? And uh, President Obama is not ignoring Joe in this video. They're actually playing a game where they pretend like they can't hear each other. Totally normal stuff, you guys. And he's not asleep um, in, this, in this video, um, you guys. He's just um, practicing his deep meditation. Oh, and this time he didn't shit his pants. <clears throat> he just saw a Japanese guy and decided to say hi in Japanese. Okay, this time he thought he saw a tiger and wanted to, to, to protect the group of, um, of world leaders, you know? So even though everyone treats him like he's retarded, uh, he's not actually retarded, okay? That is misinformation. Thank you. So if you didn't get it, once it switched from Karine Jean-Pierre to the clips, it was somebody else narrating as close to a voice to her as possible, um, just showing some of the faux pas that uh, Biden had gone through. But you can edit funny sounds and fart noises and, and little like pictures of uh, nursing home care phone numbers without changing the fact that he's freezing or falling asleep or falling downstairs or falling off stage or falling off bikes or falling upstairs. It's really bad. Like it's really bad. And they're just trying to say it's not bad. You're crazy. You are an agent of disinformation. Darmac says, I think they edited a few Trump videos. No shit. They got Biden saying Truman and Ashton under the pressure. And they're like, that's fine. That's no big deal. And then Trump says, totally fine people on both sides. Not the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists. I condemn them totally. And then they cut that shit in half and say, he said there's fine people on both sides and praise the white supremacists.
but then I am a disinformation expert. Bro. Bro. Support our rights says the biggest crowd Biden gets is is the three nurses that changes diapers. Wow, that's brutal. Yeah, you get the uh absolute savage award for that one. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty bad. If you enjoyed this clip from the Thoughtcast, please like, subscribe, comment what you think, and catch us live on Rumble, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All links down below. <laughs>